Steve Sheldon, Eagle Scout. I am complimented to be a part of a ceremony to confer this distinguished award upon him. Steve, your boyhood now ends. You are entering into young manhood. I am proud to have been a small part of your youth. I have closely observed your progress, your development of personality, and the inculcation of mankind's most treasured values into your being. You deserve this recognition. The challenge of the eagle, the throwing down of the gauntlet, the dare to be different, the assumption of responsibility, the dare to excel. It is little wonder that the eagle rank is the most difficult, the highest to achieve. The eagle is the image of our national standard. It is the most fearsome of all birds, and the most noble. It never kills without need, yet it defends its area to death. It is far-sighted. It ascends to tremendous heights that plunges a meteor upon its prey. His is not one of warlike aspect alone, but in all aspects of living. The eagle is as rare among birds as the rank of eagle scout is among boys. The eagle scout is the top. Perhaps one out of a hundred scouts attains it. The eagle stands out. It is his obligation to lead, to set an example for all the top, not just as a boy, but as a man. He assumes the mantle and the role one who is different from all the rest. He inspires others to follow him in all walks of life. He is to uphold the ancient verities, the carefully garnered truths, the values judged highest by the most outstanding men and women of the ages. He is not a goody-goody, a neuter, or an ambipamby, but exactly the opposite manliness. His is a dignity to ignore the critics, the belittlers of scouting and his principles, the downgraders of all decent things. The Eagle Scout of today has many things with which to contend. My father lived through four major wars. I have seen three major wars. We have a serious and deadly enemy who has plainly told us that he intends to wipe us from the earth. You may yet have to face this enemy on our shore. As unbelievable as it might seem, we have grievous foes within our own country and institutions. I regret exceedingly that I am not here in person to see this badge awarded. As I speak, I hold the eagle badge in my hand. Let us look at it. Well, it shall hang before Steve's eyes so long as he may live. For it is now his challenge to be a prince among men. You are deserving of much credit in having achieved scouting's highest award. But wear your award with humility. Ever mindful that the eagle scout is looked up to as an example, may the scout oath and the scout law be your guide for tomorrow and onward. An obligation of an Eagle Scout is to be cheerful, to remind the Eagle Scout to always wear a smile. The red, white, and blue ribbon is attached to the scroll of the second class scout award, which has its ends turned up in a smile. Another responsibility of an Eagle Scout is service. The Eagle Scout extends a helping hand to those who still toil upward on Scouting's tree, just as others helped him in his climb to the Eagle. The performance of the daily good deed takes on a new meaning when he enters a more adult life of continuing service to others. The Eagle stands as a protector of the weak and the helpless. 
He aids and comforts the unfortunate and the oppressed. He upholds the right of others while defending his own. He will always be prepared to put forth his best. Yet another obligation of an Eagle Scout is loyalty. A scout is true to his family, scout leaders, friends, school, and his nation. His loyalty to his troop and brother scouts makes him pitch in and carry his share of the load. All of these help to build the loyalty, which means a devotion to community, to country, to one's ideals, and to God. Let the blue of the Eagle Badge always inspire your loyalty. Still another obligation of an Eagle Scout is to be courageous. Courage has always been a quality by which men measure themselves and others. To a Scout, bravery means not only the courage to face physical danger, but the determination to stand up for the right. Trusting in God, with his faith in his fellow man, he looks forward to each day, seeking his share of the world's work to do. Let the red of the eagle badge remind you always of courage. The first three words of the Boy Scout Oath gives meaning to the entire movement of scouting on my arm. It is the foremost responsibility of an eagle scout to live with honor. To an eagle scout, honor is the foundation of all character. He knows that a scout is trustworthy is the very first point of the scout law for a good reason. An eagle scout lives honorably, not only because honor is important to him, but because of the vital significance of the example he sets for other scouts. Living honorably reflects credit on his home, his church, his troop, and his community. May the white of the eagle badge remind you to always live with honor. We have dealt specifically with the true meanings and the precious values of patriotism, justice, freedom, faith in God, love, courage, truth, and honor. These words, these hard words, reverently dictate what we ought to be, what we can be, what we must be. They build courage when courage seems to fade. Renew faith when there appears to be little cause for faith. Create hope when hope becomes forlorn. The code of the Boy Scouts, the Boy Scout Oath, and Scout Laws braces the highest of moral laws and which stands the test of any ethic or philosophy ever given for the uplift of mankind. Its requirements are for the things that are right, and its restraints are designed to prevent the things that are wrong. They give us the joy and the inspiration of life. Steve and other scouts, remember them. Bind them to your hearts. Cherish them. And if need be, die for them. Patriotism, justice, virtue, faith in God, courage, truth, 